All right, um, welcome back everybody to the Marvel Project. And uh, today I will be able to start with uh, drawing the uh, last bits of trees in there. And then hopefully then after that we will be able to, you know, finish up the whole damn drawing with uh, shading and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah. So no further ado, uh, let's get started on this, shall we? So, today I actually uh, got an email of uh, fixing my CV, so I will be able, I need to be doing that tomorrow. Need to, uh, apparently, you know, making, uh, making a seat, making a, making a, uh, this needs to be below this then. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be below it. And then into a group. Yes. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I try to do, uh, I try to do, um, I tried to send the CV in English, but apparently that was not good. Apparently I had to do it in, in the original language, in a native language of uh, Dutch, but I always think that that would be a very terrible idea, but uh, no, you never know. All right, this is in yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the blurry lines, good. Um... Let's see if we can get it up and running. There you go, that's one. Oh, I'm definitely not drawing it in the right color. Oops. That's a bad idea. Good mm -hmm. one to draw this into a brown color. It's absolutely worst idea. Redo this. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I uh, need to do that again. Um, but not to worry. Not to worry. I am very, uh, I'm very happy already how far I'm at, at now. And uh, I only have to change some language uh, writings. Oh well. And then after that, I will have a good CV to produce to, uh, to show to other people. Uh-huh. Looks like I need to add it up a bit like this, yeah. These things are going to be long trees, but uh, without any flaws is absolutely terrible, so we need to put some flaws into it. Uh, this thing needs to go up, 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 and then go down. Like so... Yeah, I think this is a good way to do it, right? Yeah. So this is gonna be the main part, and now we need to do the sketch a bit, which is gonna be... Something like this, maybe. Would that work? Yes, that would work, but I need to make sure that that looks nice. So I need to have it like this then. Just overlap it with the other one. So only to here it needs to be there. So then I can create this like that and then add new bits right here and right there. And that's not a bad idea. And then get that one down. All right. There we go. Now we have achieved number two, which is good. We now need to only have some more. Um, one over here is need to be representing. We can do that. That one is going to go up there, and then this one is going to go right here. Near the other one, but not as far. 
So like something like this and then upwards and then, then this thing is going to be like now. Yeah. So there is going to be uh, stuff there. It's going to be grass here. Tree leaves there, tree leaves there, tree leaves there, tree leaves there, 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 there. And then go up, 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 up. This is going to be going like this. Yes. So tree leaves there. And then there. Yes. All right. Now we have done that part. And now we need to actually figure out if we want to go upwards again. Uh, not really. I do want to keep it like this. Why does this feel a little bit too far, uh, too high? Really, it's just, eh, it is a tree, however, so we should definitely add some more right into the, the leaf system. If we do this, then. Hmm. That could also work. So we have the leaf system here. And then we have this one. Go like this. But then the question is like, if we have it like this, how is this going to be ending up? Probably not the right way to do it, but it should be fine. Anyway, um, so if we, have, if we add this one right there, we add this go upwards, upwards. This one goes upwards again. This one goes upwards, and this one is going to be like that. All right. Question is like if we do that, we add the colors there and make make a big tree right there. And the question is like if we do that, we're gonna have this being open spot, this being an open spot, this being an open spot, this being an open spot, and this being an open spot. Well, this also being an open spot. Would that satisfy enough of the painting? Hmm. It would. It could work. Hmm. Alright, it could work. So are we gonna go with this? Probably yes. Um... And the question is like how we're gonna be approaching this. This needs to be done. So this is gonna be one thing. Another one is gonna go here, spread it upwards, it goes here upwards, and then that should work like that. Yes. Alright, so one goes here, the rest goes down, that is all three, tree, 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 just only one leaf. Main problem with that is that I don't have a leaf, so there needs to be leaves here, in this side, leaves there, and that leaves with that end of thing. Alright, I think I will have it now. That is actually a good idea. Um, we're going to merge these two, definitely. There we go. And now we're going to add, now we're going to do it casually. So what I want to do first is technically making first the, uh, making first the the uh, the bit on the first make the uh, uh, the leaf bit because that's actually important part here. Put your note. Thank you.
So yeah, first doing the leaves and then doing the rest is actually a smart move. Because then I have more of an idea like how I'm going to be doing this. Um, God damn it. I'm going to start pressing the little button that changes up the color system. Which is not a good idea. This needs to be soft. Like that. But like this, that I need to do this softly. Did I do that? I did do that that way. All right. I'm gonna need to zoom in here because this needs to be tiny, then, right? Yeah, this needs to be fucking tiny. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy. Trying to leaves is gonna be tiny. Needs to be done very gentle. Yes, like that. That's good. Nice. Mm. All right. Now we need to do it casually again. Because I doubt we can do this actually with the pencil tool, right? I doubt it. Yeah, works also. And I'm gonna do it with the pencil too, because it's easier. Let's double check. Oh yes, I forgot. Uh, keep on tiny. Nothing but tiny. All right.
Still almost the same hearts, which is nice. Right, um, need to add some bits here because that doesn't look nice. Alright, so this is gonna be here, it's gonna be upwards, so that this is gonna be here. This needs to be downwards. This part. This part is going to be like this. So. This is going to be all part. Yes. All right. Ah, good. I voted crisis. You know, it's just, you know, drawing very casually leaves. We already have achieved our first goal of the day, which is sketching up the uh, trees a little bit more. And we're now finally on the divining part of creating the trees, so should be fine. Once we're done with the whole leaf system, I think, yeah. <laughs> I will call it the day because of the goddamn uh, <laughs> hand exercise. So this is a pain. But it's good to have now. Because it actually creates a really, really good, well uh, thought out of thing. The main, the main problem that I always have with these things is that my hand is always getting very tired very soon. Because, well, you know, I'm using very small and a uh, cramp movements so it's a very unnatural way of doing things because you know when you want to draw you want to actually create like a lush a lush move instead of you know it's not as healthy for your hands but uh, no worries no worries there we're just gonna do the thing that i wanted to do I'm gonna create the biggest leaf to, to pad that I can see. To pay? To pay, yeah. The biggest leaf to pay there is, because, well, you know, it's always to pay with these things. Because we need to keep a con consistency in the drawing of the for uh, forest, so therefore, if we use the to pay technique, uh, if we draw to pay to pays as, uh, as leaves, then, well, you know. We should keep on doing it, otherwise, you know, it won't, it will mess up the drawing, which is bad. You don't want to have a mess up drawing. Neither do I. But yeah, today was actually quite nice. I uh, got pretty far with the throne room already. Um, I now finally finished up the uh, second pillar. Uh, which is technically a whole copy of it. I did do some changes on it, but it's still a copy. Let's say the least. It's a copy because I actually need to have the right symmetry. That's why I could not afford, you know, hand drawing it again. Because, well, you know... Symmetry is a very important thing when you're building uh, when you have a building because well you know you're gonna look at the building if the building looks odd then well it's bad but it's also good it's just ah uh, it would very it would be very stupid for me if I don't do that that way because now it looks nice like now it looks intimidating now it looks like two pillars and what I'm now working on is actually the in the midsection. And once the midsection is fully completed, then, you know, I can then maybe change it up a bit, but I don't have to do it, actually, technically. Maybe change up the colors, uh, maybe change up the way of how the flag works. That is might be a very smart move, but for the rest, it should be fine. All right, now we have that part done. We can now go down. 
down and start on again. We can now take a look at this uh, tree part. Oh, that looks nice. I like it already. It's just um, this bit right here is not fully correct. So we should definitely add it up a bit. Should not cramp it out with the thing that we have because now it looks more blushed in. Now it looks like, you know, it is a tree. Uh, the uh, the trees connected again so that's good all right and people always say that you know you need variety in the drawing so let's implement that as well we add up some blushy blushiness and uh to, impl and to emphasize the uh the, le the leaves a bit so what is going to be happening here is that there is going to be a different change into the drawing. So it's going to be probably a little bit more darker than the other parts. A bit more or less, you know, the way of how I do it normally, like this. It's good. And we can work up to it again. It makes the tree more alive, you know, making variety in the texture itself is very important. It looks like I need to add up a bit more. Not have that angle to be there. Yes. All right. Let me continue. So yeah, lots of things with trees. A lot of things that you need to remember. But eventually once you do, then you know things are going quite well. And I'm already very happy upon how far we are, you know. We're almost we're almost at the end. As you can see, we're almost there. Just a bit more, just a little bit more. And then you know, we add in the background, we create the background a bit. Well, we already are working on the background, but then uh, we need to make like a filler color. A filler color? Yeah, filler color. But I'm going to make it nighttime. That would be the easiest way to do it. Well, not the easiest way, but it is the easiest way for, uh, for the background to be a little bit more darker than it should be. And that also will fit with the, the colors because then you can, you know, do things with the crystals and all that stuff to brighten them up and show more of the uh, mystique of the Morphok itself which is quite nice I like it All right, more fog and drying leaves. 
I do not fear no man but those leaves. Ugh. They take a lot of energy. It creates a lot of hyper focus that I need to, you know, make sure that I don't overuse because otherwise if I overuse it then I will get tired really fast. But eh, I think I cannot avoid that one. It's because I'm trying to focus on getting the uh, the 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 leaves just right, the right amount of size, so that you know I'm not gonna get over overdrawn with them. Also, as you can see, the first bit now is almost done, and uh, we're getting the texture just right. Because if we add in the if we add in the color, if we add in the um, the green color, for instance, this should be, you know, this would, this will be very, uh, this will be very visible, I believe. Uh, let's see, just in case, just, just wanted to know, you know, just wanted to know if I have I use green, would it be visible? It would be visible. Would it be as visible as the other one? No. Hmm. Fine. Let's make sure that we are, you know, seeing this the way how I wanted to see. That's the main issue with always. That's always the main issue with the with the pencil brush. You need to be really, really precise with, you know, getting this, getting these things done. Luckily, you know, we found, figured out early on that, you know, these things happened. So therefore we can prevent a lot of iffy reasons or iffy things that can be approaching from it. Which is nice, you know, we, we figured out that like, oh, well, if I do this, then well. This is going to be happening, and therefore, you know, we need to fix it before, you know, things are going to go out of hand. It also creates a bit more of a, you know, busyness, but it should be fine. It should be fine. It's like drawing, it's like drawing Minecraft textures almost. It's always so fun. Always redoing the thing again and again and again until you finally have the transparency out of the way. That's why I don't like the pencil uh, brush because the transparency is actually tied to how many times you go over it. Which sucks. Don't get me wrong there, it really sucks. Because if you don't, if you do it too much. Things will go well, and if you do it too little, then things won't go like well either. But right now it should be fine. It's almost like drawing the grass, but a little bit more difficult, let's put it that way. Because this requires to look at the whole picture instead of looking at the grass bit by bit. Grass is easier to uh, fix than this. Also, it did help that I drew the grass with the... Um, how do you say that? The, uh, pen the pencil brush? Yeah, the pencil brush. Because that way the transparency would not be there, and therefore, you know, I can draw sharper edges. Which normally helps a lot. As you can see, the sharper edges of the pencil brush. Pencil brush is actually quite helping. Now we can look at this, and we can see... Uh, Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Soft eraser, maybe? Yeah, soft eraser would be the best option. It's not the best option, but it is the option. I need to redo this thing right here. never that good to have that removed but uh, this should work then yeah because that is the way to do it normally now with the pencil Luckily, you know, erasing bits doesn't matter too much, and fixing them is also not that hard. Just annoying. Do we really need to redo this every everywhere? Please don't say that. It would be horrible. It might be. Yikes. All right, just forget about that point then, and just keep on moving, keep on producing the the, uh, the leaves. That would be the smartest move. This way, I can actually prevent certain things from happening. But not everything, but I can try. Remembering to press the remembering to press the uh, if I draw, remembering to press a little bit harder. That way uh, we can prevent that from happening again, which is good. Textures. Ugh. You can always get them wrong. But, you know, sometimes you need to improvise upon how to get them right. Yes. All right, and then we can put that would work. And we need to get this running.
Yes, that will work. Good. Continue. Just like that. Ugh. This is one of the hardest things to do. <laughs> so much grass, or well, so much leaves to be drawn in. All right, that works. Good. Good. Thank God. All right, I fixed a major problem. That's nice. There we go. And then we can add these things in. Finally arriving at the place we need to be, which is this bit. Yeah. All right. Finish that boy. Up. We're already forty minutes in. My hand is totally out of sync. Ah. Yes. All right. Since I have been sporting, I did some sports yesterday. I still have some muscles, sort of soaring muscles, and. Uh, I'm already feeling the stress on the hands for, you know, drawing extensively on a goddamn texture, which means uh, I'll call it a day here because otherwise I might be in major trouble if I continue. And, you know, you don't want to overstress a goddamn hand. It is a very bad idea. And uh, I think we already got it pretty far now. So that's good. We already have the sketch done. We have a bit of the... Uh, of the of the uh, of the tree uh, tree leaves done and uh, I will leave it here for now so I hope you all have enjoyed for today and uh, thanks all for watching I hope I'll see you all next time until then I want to wish you a lovely day and uh, 